What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at augmented code uh, or augment code. Uh, now this is developer AI for real work. It's basically like a AI coding system built for professional software engineers and large code bases. Now you can use this in JetBrains, NeoVim or uh, Visual Studio Code. We're going to be using this in Visual Studio Code. Now, usually it is free. However, the pricing for professional is $30. You have it only free for 30 days. And here you're getting unlimited chats, unlimited completions, instructions, and pretty much everything you need. Now to install this, it's very simple. You hit install here. And uh, from there, you obviously wanna continue with GitHub here uh, or with Google, whatever you want, right? And uh, from there, as you can see, you just download the extension in Virtual Studio Code. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, so if I go to Visual Studio Code, not virtual, but visual, sorry. If you go to Visual Studio Code, you simply go to the uh, extensions here, click on the augmented and then just install it. And once you install it, you will need to sync it. So uh, if you click on this one here, you will be able to click sync and then just sync and you can open any uh, folder or any um, project you have. For example, I have thumbnail rater here and I can open index HTML, output CSS, right? Uh, I open these two right here. Let me actually open um, output CSS to the side here. So I have these and then I can go to uh, the um, here, the augmented code or augment code. I don't know why I call it augmented, but uh, and then, as you can see, augment just finished syncing with your code base. Here's a summary of what we saw. So basically augment will give you the summary based on the thumbnail rater package JSON. This appears to be a simple web project called thumbnail rater that uses basic HTTP server to uh, serve static content from this directory on port 8080. So as you can see here, it kind of gives you the project um, things about a project, um, like a quick overview. And then here you can see here are some questions you can ask. How does the fast uh, queue work queue handle tasks, processing and concurrency? You can also say, um, for example, like if you have maybe in your, in your code something like, for example, can you find, can you find um, th thumbnail Rater UI elements in the CSS file. And then as you can see here, augment will actually go and generate the response. Yes, looking at thumbnail, there are several Tailwind CSS classes that uh, are being used for the thumbnail rater UI elements. So since I'm building thumbnail rater, uh, which is uh, like a, literally a thumbnail rater, you put in the thumbnail and then you get the answer. This is actually the styling. So this is actually the UA, UI elements, user interface elements. And as you can see, Augment actually found out about them. And it also said these classes are used in the HTML to create the main container and layout, the thumbnail upload section, input fields for video title and description, the rate my thumbnail button, and then the results display section and various styling elements like shadows, borders, and spacing. So uh, as you can see, pretty interesting, right? Now, as you can see here, we can see that we are in output CSS. So right now, any instructions we put here, it will be within the uh, output CSS. So for example, I can go here and say, can you change the color of rate my thumbnail button in red, let's say, or in he a hashtag nine, you know, whatever, like zero, 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 right? And as you can see here, augment will actually go, I'll help you change the color button to black. Uh, it also went in and saw that this is actually black. And as you can see, it actually went in and changed that as well. Now, if you want to go into something else, we can exit out of this. This is the project. So we don't want to exit out of the project only if we have another project. Um, but as you can see here, you have actions like you have find, explain, fix, write, test. So for example, we can fix and then we can select the code to fix. For example, we can select this part of the code. And as you can see, it selected the code and uh, you know, here we can enter and then it will go and fix the code. Now, but as you can see, what's interesting is this code isn't, um, 
isn't meant to be fixed. It's a good code, right? It works. And it says the selected code appears to be correctly formatted um, and doesn't have any issues that need fixing. It's just valid NPM dependency. And then it basically gave uh, this right here. I can copy this and I can paste it right into it, as you can see. So again, we go with the selection. So this is how it works, right? You have a project, you have a file, and then you have a part of a selection, which is right here, as you can see right here. So you can also go with context like clear document, documentation, files, you know, default context, recently opened files. We can go here and we can go, for example, this. And then we can say, can you explain what this file is for? Keep in mind, I'm using a very basic prompts here. You can really dive deep into certain codes, dependencies, why things are like they are, stuff like that, as you can see right here. As you can see, file is an important file in Node.js project that serves several key purposes. So this is kind of like your AI coding assistant, kind of like, you know, when you're working in an office with an, uh, you know, a person that is helping you with a code um, with a, another programmer. This is exactly what Augment uh, is about. Now, uh, obviously, we can also go with actions and we can go to document. And then, as you can see, we can select the entire document and say, refine it or make it shorter uh, make like for example we can also go here and just add this and as you can see right here we get the documentation for selected code right so we also get the documentation which is really great so there are other things that i can kind of show you here for example find you can find uh, what code are you looking for uh, and then you can say maybe like um, if you go here remove the default font size. Let's say uh, I am looking for a font size. Where can I change it? And then as you can see, it will generate the response. And as you can see in Tailwind, if we click here, here we're actually getting um, the default font size R and then here we're getting the default font size, right? And uh, yeah, you can see here as well, these are some of the like, font sizes as well here and borders and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, overall, this is how you can use Augment Code AI. Pretty interesting tool, honestly. And I would say it's definitely worth it for those of you who are uh, programmers, for those of you who are coding every single day and want to have an AI assistant. Uh, yeah, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next AI-based videos. Thank you guys for watching.